the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie was an absolute surprise. While it wasn't much for originality, I mean, it was just a fish-out-of-water story, but overall it was charming and downright entertaining. I didn't expect much from it, but I was very pleasantly surprised. Now with Sonic 2, there were expectations. Does this deliver like the first one did? Well, yes, mostly. Sonic 2 picks up a few months after the original. Dr. Robotnik is on the Mushroom Planet and figures out a way to get back to Earth with Knuckles the Echidna. Also, he can get revenge on Sonic as well as find the Chaos Emerald. This movie was more the same, and I don't mean that in a bad way. They continued what made the first one work. A fairly basic story and some well-intentioned fan service. But this time, they brought in Tails and Knuckles from Sonic 2 and 3. What I liked was the return of the smart Alex Sonic jokes. Some of them worked and some of them didn't, which I feel is more or less how Sonic should be. He's supposed to be a kid, and naturally, his jokes aren't always good. The chemistry between Sonic and the Donut Lord is downplayed here, largely because Tom is gone for most of the first half of the film. In a surprising choice of direction, a good chunk of the movie is just Sonic and Tails out in the world trying to get away from Eggman and Knuckles. I was fine with that, because I'm not one of those people that complains about the lack of humans in a movie. Although this brings me to one of my complaints. With Sonic being in the movie more, the compositing at times was a bit off. One of the more noticeable times was during the dancing sequence. Sonic and Tails look pasted into the foreground instead of blending into the scene. In the original, there were never any moments where he stuck out this much. It's nitpicky, yes, but they managed to pull it off well in the first. There really isn't a reason they couldn't do it in the sequel. I know part two only had a slight budget increase, so perhaps they didn't have the time and money to put into the visual effects, considering the vast increase of work that was included this time around. It's not remotely enough to make the movie bad, just another thing that keeps this from being as good or better than the original. My other complaint's the wedding sequence. I didn't mind it at first, but it went on longer than it was necessary. The first movie was a solid, tight 99 minutes. This was two hours and two minutes. A tad long for a kid's movie. What kid is like, you know what this movie about a cartoon hedgehog needs? A wedding sequence with the couple going through major relationship drama. The movie overall was fun. Sonic and Tails played well off each other, and Idris Elba did a great job as Knuckles. I didn't know Shamar Moore was in this. Dude's 52 years old and looks at the oldest 30. It was cool they brought in Colleen O'Shaughnessy as Tails. She's been doing the voice work for the character for nearly a decade now. Jim Carrey continued to play Dr. Robotnik Pet Detective. He really is just playing the same style of character, only this time with a funny mustache. It works, but it's also really derivative. There was a lot more action this time around. Actually, there was a lot more of everything this time around. In general, it felt like a little too much, if that makes sense. Once they got to the island, I thought they were headed into the finale, but no, there was still like 45 minutes left. I realized Sonic in the games has been getting ridiculous as the entries went on, but this felt like they squeezed in a lot for entry number two. I wonder if this is coming down to Jim Carrey saying that this was his last movie. They wanted to go all out with Dr. Robotnik since he wouldn't be back. Although I genuinely don't believe that. With how well the movie's doing, I'm sure it's just a tactic to try to get them to throw more money at him to come back for movie number three. Which they already announced. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 isn't as good as the first, but it is still entertaining. If you like the first one, you'll most likely enjoy this one too. It hits almost all the right notes, and it's just as likable as part one, it just slightly overstays its welcome. It was funny and endearing like the first one, and they did a good job of incorporating more of the Sonic universe into the film. They even have another stinger at the end to show you who's going to be in the next one. Now if we could get Big the Cat in there too, I'd probably be the only one who would be happy with that. I know more people are asking for Amy, and that's fine. Anything to keep Sonic away from Lacey Chabert. The CG was mostly good, aside from my minor complaints, and there were some nicely constructed visuals. The fan service made me smile with little things like humorous ways to incorporate the music from the games, as well as some of the levels. Sonic 2 is good. Not great, but good. I'm not talking high art here, I'm not talking best movie of the year, I'm not even talking top 10 of the year. I'm talking 
entertaining video game adaptation, the sequel. The humor's good, although man, they tried to squeeze in a lot of this is a load of shit taki and other almost curses. I personally don't care, but I'm sure there's going to be some parents a little cheesed when their kids are repeating this stuff all day long. If you go in expecting some amazing cinema, you're looking at the wrong movie. If you're expecting an entertaining sequel to a movie that was a solid adaptation of a video game hedgehog, you'll enjoy it fine. It's not The Godfather, it's Sonic 2. It also could have been a lot worse. Imagine if Paramount didn't listen to the audience and release the original Abomination. Sonic would have flopped, children would have had nightmares, and the series would have never made it past one.